Are we live? I think we're live. Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. David A. Qua here. <clears throat> Welcome to my YouTube channel. Let me flip this around here. Look what I got, man. Covered my entire bed. I just got Rise of Skywalker on Blu-ray. I figure, why not? Let's take a look at the rest of the Star Wars DVD, Blu-ray, VHS collection. <clears throat> if you're a brand new visitor to my YouTube channel, have no idea what my videos are all about. I love to talk about things I'm passionate about, man. Movies, comic books, video games. I do hauls, reviews, unboxings. If that's the type of thing you're into, you may want to check out my other content. If you like what you see, do subscribe. And if you like what you see here and want to learn more about me, I got a Twitter, I got an Instagram. If you like video game related stuff, I just got a Twitch. Same username, all throughout, David A. Qua. First of all, let me show you something. <clears throat> got a baby Yoda hat. The child, right? And a nice shirt. Mario's here, Regal Wrangle's here, Jacob's here, El Mono Loco's here, Antonio's here. 21 people in the live stream right now. Welcome everyone. Sup, Chris Abbott. Where did you get that? I got this at Five Below. And I just got this at Walmart. This was at Walmart for like eight bucks. Julie's here, hello. Liam, John, what's up everyone? Okay. I just got, in the mail, Rise of Skywalker on Blu-ray, and it comes with uh, no digital code. I got it only for $11. $11, man, this movie just came out on uh, Blu-ray just a couple, a couple weeks ago. And uh, hey, Wolfman CNW, good to see you here. <clears throat> and uh, they took out the digital code, which made it a lot more cheaper. I can get the digital code another, another way, okay? So here we go. Here's what's inside. It's got a special documentary. Okay. Rise of Skywalker. Skywalker Legacy documentary. Special features. Key to the Pass. Speeder Chase. It's on Disney Plus. Yeah. <clears throat> but. It's either that, or you can say, hey, David, show us your DVD collection of Star Wars stuff, like this, okay? Imagine this collection right here, this whole video right here, without Rise of Skywalker. Because until this, before Disney Plus came out, that's all I had. This is, all, this is my entire collection. I've been holding out this entire time because I wanted to have this part of it. But some of you guys are saying, hey, David, it's on Disney Plus. You don't need it. Fine. You know what? I'm not going to include it in the, in the video anymore. You know what? There you go. So, this is the rest of the collection right here. <clears throat> I like the authenticity of the VHS. Yeah. Let's take a look at VHS first, okay? Do you own any Mandalorian Funko Pops? No, I don't. I've seen them, though. I saw them in the store. I had them in my hand, too. I had a, had a Mandalorian uh, uh, figures in my hand. And uh, I was like, nah. I'm not gonna buy these. Find with the ones I already have, man. Find the ones I already have. I got a grown up Yoda right there. Baby Yoda's grandfather or something. <laughs> I don't have to tell you how many people is actually here. What did you have for dinner, David? I had a uh, fajitas. My mom's obsessed with the. Uh, <clears throat> With, uh, you know, tacos, burritos, fajitas, and gelatas. She's making a lot of that. She's been watching YouTube videos and all that stuff. Are you excited for more Mandalorian? Yeah, if you haven't checked it out, go to my YouTube channel. Full-blown, four-hour-long live streams of me watching The Mandalorian and see my reactions to it. Check them out. Okay. Got the CBS Fox videos here. They're all uh, wrapped up and all that. Okay, so that's for Star Wars. It's Star Wars, not Star Wars Episode Four: New Hope, not Star Wars: New Hope. It was called Star Wars when it came out. Okay, The Empire Strikes Back. 
You can just pause and read all those. I watched all of your reactions. Why, thank you. Return the Jedi. Okay. Then after this, they came out with these, uh, when did this come out? 1992 VHS releases. See? Star Wars. <clears throat> I love your gaming. I watch most of your of the movies. Most of them. Which one did you miss out? Okay. So that's Star Wars. Here's a Empire Strikes Back. Okay. And Return of the Jedi. See that? Original stickers. This is when we what we watch movies on a long time ago. Some of you kids these days don't even know what this is. <clears throat> and they, uh, they watch pretty clear, too. It's not like uh, some VHS, you know, they get scratched and stuff like that. No, I take care of my stuff. You watch, like, parody movies? Like, videos, like, like they, try, they try to uh, make it look like VHS quality? And there's all these scratches and stuff like that? Uh-uh, not these VHS tapes. We have the original cut, yeah. Star Wars. This is upside down. Let's flip it around. See, it even has a sticker. It should be on this side. <clears throat> so these were the uh, 95 releases? Yeah, 1995 VHS tapes. I, I gotta get to the other side of the bed. I can't reach it. <clears throat> and here's Return of the Jedi. All Stars VHS DVDs. Do you have more Team NT videos? Okay, guys, if you want to, if you want me to drop this, I'll go do the Team NT video that you've been dying for. I just, I'm just doing this because there's some people who keep asking me, "Hey, David, hey, David, do the Star Wars collection video again? This time, adding Rise of Skywalker and Last Jedi and Solo and Rogue One, which I've never added to the collection before. And now I'm doing, it and you guys say, "Stop! Let's go do the Team NT collection video." So if you want me to do it, I'll do it. I'll stop this live stream right now. <laughs> and finally, we have Return of the Jedi. It's got Yoda on there. I like this cover. I keep seeing it in stores when I was a little kid, man. Other VHS tapes we have here. We got the Star Wars, making Star Wars VHS. This one's nice and in plastic, too. They take care of their VHS tapes. This one... Got special boxes way back when, right? Special boxes. I used to be annoyed with these, but now like I, I want them, you know? Because I used to rent movies, and they would always put them in boxes like this. So I was like, man, I, I can't touch the actual box. And it's like hard to open and stuff like that. So these have documentaries and all that stuff. Okay. Then we have the 1997 special editions. This is when things got crazy, man. All the changes, all the edits, and all the additions and stuff like that. Good collection as always, yeah. So, here it is, Star Wars. Okay. I remember some of the things they added was uh, Job the Hut. They made the Moss Eisley scene a little longer. <clears throat> they, uh, they just clean up the movie a little bit, too. Empire Strikes Back. This one, they made Cloud City a little bigger, right? They made, like, windows and stuff like that. Before, it was like, they were just walking down the hallway, right? And uh, in the new special edition version, they added, like, there's a window in that hallway. You can see outside, and there's, like, big, big buildings and speeders flying around and stuff like that. <clears throat> David, do you own a CRT TV? Uh, no, I don't. I don't even know what that is. Maybe I do own it, and I don't know that no, no, I, I have it, you know? Daniel says, yo, dog. Hey, man. And here's Return of the Jedi. Some of the things I remember the adding are the, uh, <clears throat> the, uh, the Jabba's Palace music, musical sequence. That was new. That, that was in, the, in these versions, okay? And this is the box. This is empty box. These three were in here, Okay. Have you heard about HBO Max? Yes. 
And then we got these versions. See how they look the same? They never released an episode three of this in the U.S. Those of you in the, in the, in the U.K. probably have this. What's your thoughts on Lando? There's a movie called Lando coming out? A TV series all about Lando Calrissian? And it's replacing the Mandalorian? What the heck are you guys talking about? The Mandalorian is canceled and they're replacing it with a, 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 a Lando TV series? I, I, I have not heard this news yet. Is that serious? They're canceling Mandalorian. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Okay, here's the VHS of uh, episode one. Here's episode two. <clears throat> well, one of the things I like well, when it comes to the VHS tapes is watching the movie in full screen, like square, not rectangle, you know? And seeing like what they cut off compared to what they see on the DVD and such. I'm six feet, 10 inches, says Logan. Mandalorian is not canceled. Okay, thank goodness. People are spreading rumors in the, in the live chat, man. Saying, saying crap just to see how much, how, how, how it would uh, react to it, you know? And then there's this box set, okay? If you have this box set, you get these three VHS tapes, which uh, line up nicely <clears throat> with the sides of these. See that? See how nicely that looks on your shelves? Too bad there's no episode three or the new ones, huh? I guess you can like custom make one, you know? <clears throat> there's a cast in the Andor show. Yeah, I heard about that. <clears throat> so there's the back of that one. Here, hang on. I want to show you like everything, you know, the front, the side. I don't know why they made it white. It really stands out. Look at that. They're crazy, man. Very in inconsistent. Okay. And then we have DVDs. Finally, time for DVDs. Did you see Star Wars Battlefront 2? Did I play it? Yeah. There's videos of it on my YouTube channel, me playing Battlefront 2. But the entire campaign, like one sitting, man. <clears throat> so these, these four came in this box. You can probably still find it in stores. Not stores like Walmart. I'm talking about like you go to a pawn shop or a, like a thrift store of some sort, you'll see it. Oh, by the way. Oh, my gosh. So for those of you who don't know, this video is being recorded. Like if you're watching like years in the future right now. This is the coronavirus outbreak. The pandemic just started and stuff like that. It's only been like a couple months since the coronavirus has been around. Okay. Jesus Duarte, thank you for the for the for the tip. $1.99 from Jesus Duarte. Thank you. Riverdale season four is out now on Netflix. Nice. I'll check it out. I didn't see a single episode from that season. Um, <clears throat> what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So there is a store called Movie Exchange. They sell used DVDs, used Blu-rays. They sell video games. That's where I got my Xbox One for like 100 bucks. And um, they just closed. I went to the store the other day. It had a sign, a red sign in the front of the store saying close permanently. I was so sad, man. I was so sad. That's like one of the reasons, one of my favorite stores ever. Now because of this darn coronavirus, not having business and stuff like that, they shut it down. It's very sad. It's very, very sad. So here they have the DVD for New Hope. It's the first time we see some special features and stuff like that related to, uh, to, uh, to this, you know? Hey, David, you watch a TV show Blue's Clues? Nah, man, that's for kids. I, I suppose if I have kids of my own, I'd probably watch it with them. But you guys are asking me to watch Blue's Clues and Elmo and stuff like that. Steve Dervin, I'm not into the same stuff that you are, okay? You're always asking me questions. Hey, David, did you see last week's episode of, uh, of Sesame Street? And Hey, David, did you, can you believe what happened to Elmo on, on, on this? Well, we, I, I don't care. <laughs> I, I just don't care. <laughs> and hey, David, on Teletubbies, it was so dramatic. So-and-so uh, lost his banana. He, he was hungry for it. Um, I don't care. <laughs> Okay, here's Empire Strikes Back. Oops, I need to take off the sticker. 
that's not supposed to be there. The, the original box broke, right? The original box broke and I replaced it. <laughs> okay, and then finally, Revenge of the, uh, Return of the Jedi. Oh my gosh. You guys throw me off here. Another sticker. I had to replace all the whole box, man. And then here we got the bonus materials that includes documentaries, that includes a. Uh, 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 special featurettes, behind the scenes interviews, stuff like that. Okay, and that's the box that came in. Now they had to release another version of it, another version. I, I I got it for like five bucks, man. I couldn't believe it. Five bucks each of these. Now you can't get it for that price. A New Hope. This includes this sticker was on the outside on the plastic, but I, I, I tore it out and stuck it in here. The original theatrical version on DVD. That's right. This version. If you're so used to this. You can get this version, okay? And watch it from here. It's a two disc version too. Unlike those, they're one disc. <clears throat> I, uh, I know Empire Strikes Back to me worth a lot of money. So I, I kept it wrapped in the plastic, never opened it. But I like the covers on these a little bit more. <clears throat> it's much more uh, nicer and colorful and stuff. Here's Return of the Jedi, <clears throat> also still in the plastic. Out of all the movies, Return of the Jedi is probably my favorite, okay? It's probably like, hey, David, rank the, 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 the Star Wars movies and uh, rank them with the Harry Potter movies and every episode of Star Trek and, 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 and like the Rocky movies and Planet of the Apes and every Marvel movie. Like rank those all together in one big giant franchise. Call it the cinemas of the earth. I'm like, dude, I don't have time for that. I wouldn't mind if I ranked just the Star Wars movies by itself or ranked the Marvel movies on its own, but to combine everything, David, all movies that ever exist, uh, do a ranking video of that. Add in, Sis don't forget Susan Cain, and don't forget the Charlie Chaplin old movies. Like, add in everything. <clears throat> you guys are crazy sometimes. Freaking nuts. Hey, Chris Abbott just sent me a, 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 a tip. I've loved your content for years. Keep up the hard work. Got 10 bucks from 9.99. Cool. And there's 40 people in the live stream right now. So thanks for, for, for stopping by, everyone. Okay, here's another DVD I got. Guys, for like a buck. One dollar. Find out a garage sale or a thrift store of some sort. The story of Star Wars. Okay. Hey, what else are we doing? We're moving right along here. We're done with the movies. That is it when it comes to the movies, except for these, I guess. Okay. We got the Clone Wars. The Clone Wars, like, pilot episode is a movie. Okay. This came out in theaters. Not, not a lot of people even, you know, like, there was one dude, he was, uh, I was watching his reaction videos. I forgot his name. But, uh, he jumped straight into the series without watching this movie. Okay. People in the comments were like, hey, dude. You, you need to watch this one too. You know, he just jumped straight to the first episode of the TV series. Season seven was awesome. Yeah, and if you haven't checked it out, I did do a live reaction of me watching the final four episodes of um, of uh, Star Wars Clone Wars. Okay, on Disney Plus right now. But uh, those episodes just came out like a couple weeks ago. Like right now, it's like May. What is today? Like May twelfth or something. Right? No, it's beyond May 12th. It's like May 15 or something. I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, okay? But May the 4th, Star Wars Day was a couple weeks ago, and they, they, uh, they aired the last episode of Star Wars The Clone Wars on, on there, okay? We watched Order 66 from Ahsoka's point of view and stuff like that. It was cool, man. It was cool. So check out those videos. Clone Wars, Season 1. I made separate videos of these, by the way. You may not like go through every single one of them and take a look at the disc art and stuff like that. I'm not going to bother with that, okay? Put them here. Now, this only has four episodes, but at the time when this came out, this hasn't come out yet. You know what I'm saying? This hasn't come out right. So, if, it, if you guys want to be, be at home watching some Clone Wars, this is, the, this is all you had at the time, okay? So, this one only has four episodes. There. We had to complete season two, got this special edition book version. What's this? I don't think it's supposed to be there. <laughs> when I, this is the original thing that was on the, on the back of the box, okay? 
And it comes with this nice little book in here too. I'm not gonna show it to you. Check out my Clone Wars video. I, I had a video where it's like, oh, I can't believe it. They're bringing back Clone Wars. Clone Wars, sa save Clone Wars. Hashtag Clone Wars season seven's coming. Stuff like that. And uh, I talked about it. I, I did unboxings of these and stuff like that, okay? Clone Wars, complete season three. <clears throat> this is like one of my, uh, some of my favorite episodes are in this season, man. <clears throat> Tons of good stuff. I like seeing Grievous and, and Saj Ventress and, 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 and Savage Press and a ton of good, good characters that show up in this, uh, this series, okay? Ah, season four. Darth Maul returns. Ventress. Got some Grievous. Savage. Mm -hmm. And then I had to get this box because I like the Darth Maul. You know, I met the guy, uh, the guy who played Darth Maul, Ray Park. I got his autograph. He was at Comic Con. So I lined up just to meet him and stuff. Okay. Uh, the complete season five. Here it is. I never opened it because I, I watched it on TV. And I was like, yeah, I'm happy with that. And of course, we got the Lost Missions here. Lost Missions. Which is like on Netflix. This, they call it season six, but at the time it was called Lost Missions. Did you watch season seven of Clone Wars on Disney Plus? Dude, you missed out, didn't you? You missed on the live stream. I sat there for like almost two hours and I watched the last four episodes, the greatest uh, last four episodes of the show. Gave you my full reaction. Saw my face. And for those of you who don't know, some of you guys were like, hey David, if you do this, wouldn't you get copyright and stuff like that? I haven't gotten anything. Thank goodness, right? I haven't gotten anything from that. Hey, Joseph's here. Joseph's my, um, my cousin. He's my godson. We're looking at all the Star Wars stuff today. Cesaro Brown is one he was talking about of Clone Wars, but he watched four episodes. Yeah. No, I watched like the first three. Remember that? I did one live stream at the beginning. Th the first three episodes. The one with, that, uh, with the squad. The weird looking clones. Like, the, the clones are, like, uh, they're a little different and stuff like that. And, like, Echo was missing, and you had to go find him and whatever. So I lost for myself watching the first three episodes of that. But did, uh, and then I've watched the last four episodes. If you haven't checked out all of that, you're missing out. <clears throat> okay. Star Wars Rebels. I have DVDs for these, too. And they had, like, an opening movie. And this one's cool. This one comes with, like, uh, comes with, like, uh, what is this? The 3D model kit of the, the, of the main ship, the Ghost, okay? I never opened it, and uh, maybe someday as a special video or something, David gets one million subscribers, he's going to open up and put this model kit together. <laughs> I think we're going to do a little bit more uh, exciting stuff than that. Hey, David, do you have Robot Chicken Star Wars? Oh, crap! Now that you remind me, I do have them, but I didn't display them here. And I got this, all, all this other crappy stuff here, like the Thumb Wars and the Family Guy trilogy here. And I forgot that. I do have it, by the way. I don't know where the heck it is right now. I need to go look for it. Well, so much for that. All right, we're going to start this video all over again. Goodbye, everyone. I'm missing some DVDs. So I'm going to have to like restart this live stream all over again. Nah. I guess, you guys have seen it in previous videos. So... David from Columbia, adios. Uh, okay, here's season one. I couldn't believe how much I paid for this, man. Three bucks. It was sitting there at half price books like a normal DVD. I figured, oh, they, uh, they must have missing disc or something, but no, everything's here. So, very, very weird. Okay, Star Wars Rebels, man. I'll be honest with you, and a lot of people may disagree with me on this. I like Star Wars Rebels a lot more than Clone Wars. Like, I like the time period that it happens in. It has Darth Vader. It's got Ahsoka. It's got uh, Captain Rex. It's got, it's got uh, you know, the Order 66 that already happened. Stormtroopers. It's got Yoda, you know? Yoda looks kind of weird in that. It's got 
Darth Maul. Like all the well, you know, pretty much you gotta watch Clone Wars to understand Rebels because it take, takes place afterwards. Has characters from Clone Wars come back and stuff like that. So it's it's, it's continuation. For a while, most of us said, "Hey, the Star Wars Rebels that's a continuation." Kind of like uh, kind of like uh, I don't know. People were saying the uh, that Arrow show, right? And then they're, they're about to release like Arrow and the Canaries or something like that. Or the, the Supergirl's about to have a Superman and Lois TV show after that. Something like that. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like uh, Doctor Who and Torchwood. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. <clears throat> uh, where are we? Season 3 I never opened. I bought it on eBay. I like the shininess of it and stuff like that. So I just kept it in the packaging. Why not? And Obi-Wan shows up in this series too. And Admiral Thrawn. He was a character in the books. And they never... Uh, they never like adapted him, you know, because they, they they threw away everything. Jason Jane is solo, uh, uh, Anakin solo, Ben Skywalker. Those characters don't even exist, okay? Like Prince Sizor and all that stuff doesn't exist anymore. No, like they, we, 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 the new timeline, you know. So what they did is they took characters from previous books and they put in the show. They they like remade them, okay? Same characters, same personalities and stuff like that but they like change their histories i think they should do that for many other characters like mara jade skywalker maybe just reintroduce mara jade in some way you know she's like a little kid that ray trains to be a future jedi or something like that you know what i'm saying and then uh when when ben ben solo in uh in uh rise of skywalker when he died he like uh, he 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 planted something in in Ray, right? They 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 got nasty. They they got filthy during that kiss that they had at the end of the movie, right? And oh my gosh, Ray has the spiritual child, right, of Ben Solo, and that that's like what the new movies are about. And they name the kid a daughter, Mara Jade. Yeah. They, they, Disney should hire me, man. Disney should hire me. <laughs> and you know what? Steal that idea. Make that into a movie. You know? And Mara Jade, uh, 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 you know, has friends. You know? They're like uh, characters from, from the expanding universe we never got to see. Prince Sizor returns. Right? Yeah. Oh, anyway. Do you still have a VHS player? Yes, I do. But I don't really use it. I'm afraid if I use it, it's gonna break. But I have a feeling if I don't, if I don't use it, it'll break too. <laughs> for, for just from age. Here's the complete uh, season four. It only lasted four seasons, by the way. Oh, you know what I'm miss also missing? <coughs> There's a TV show, like a little uh, cell shaded cartoon, on like Disney XD or something like that, called Star Wars Resistance. I never seen I I've, I've seen like clips of that show, but I never actually watched it. But it takes like before Force Awakens, you see BB-8 and stuff like that. Kylo Ren's actually in the, on the show also, but it only lasts for like two seasons. And apparently, if you don't, don't watch it, you don't you're not missing much. David, you forgot Star Wars Episode One, Two, Three on DVD, dude. Where the heck have you been? I was like, wait, you're right. I thought I I I, I completely skipped it, didn't I? What the crap? Here I am, staring at my collection, saying, hey, I went from here, from that Star Wars story, straight to here, Clone Wars. And I completely skipped the prequels and the Clone Wars and all this stuff. You're a mad man, yeah. Well, I skipped it. There's no turning back now. David, do you have the Star? Uh, do you have the Family Guy Star Wars DVD? It's right there. Family Guy Star Wars trilogy. Yeah, I think I'm crazy sometimes. Okay, I'm moving on with the video. That all these movies right here. I'm gonna pan right through them right there. I have them. Got the original Clone Wars cartoons, Star Wars droids, the Ewok crap. Got the R2-D2 Beneath the Dome DVD, right? That was, they, they made it like R2-D2 is like an actual person who's struggling with life and stuff like that. Like he's like, oh, he tried to audition for many other movies and stuff like that. 
he tried to be in the part. Uh, uh, he 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 auditioned for the role of, of Michael in The Godfather and stuff. <laughs> and he had like interviews with George Lucas and Francis Ford Coppola and Mark Hamill was in the uh, 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 interviews and stuff like that. Pretty crazy. Then we got the Star Wars complete saga. Not complete anymore, huh? I like this box set. I didn't pay much for it either. Look at this. Blu-rays of the original movies. Check out the clones. I'm going to bed now, David. Awesome collection. Okay, Antonio. I'll see you later. You hope. Empire Strikes Back. Return of the Jedi. And we got bonus disc one. Bonus disc two. Bonus disc three. Here's the booklet here of all the special features and stuff that you get for each of the each of Blu-rays. It's jam packed, man. Jam packed. David, do you still play PS3? Occasionally. Like uh, right now, some of the games I play on PS3 is uh Guns of the Patriots, Metal Gear Solid uh, 4 Guns of the Patriots. They never like remastered or whatever that game for a different system. And I also have a Splinter Cell uh, Blacklist. Splinter Cell Blacklist, they, 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 uh, that's the only system I have it for. I thought about getting it for Xbox uh, 360, but like, man, uh, I'll save it. Got Thumb Wars. It's stupid, man. It's dumb. I don't even know how much money they made off this. But I thought it was stupid. Freaking, freaking awful. Metal Gear Solid 4 is my second favorite game of all time. Yeah. Okay. Here are the uh, the Family Guy stuff. It's a trap. Something, something, something dark side. And Blue Harvest, which if I remember correctly, was the actual production name of Star Wars. Hey, David. You're going to get the Skywalker Saga Lego video game when it comes out? Maybe not right away. Maybe not right away. The thing with those Lego games, uh, if they had it for the 3DS, I may get it. But if they have it for the Switch or the PS4 or something, I'm not going to get those versions. I like to take it on the go. Actually, you know what? If they have a uh, like a mobile version of it, I may get that. Hey, Dave, are you going to find the Robot Chicken Star Wars DVDs? Nah, that's as good as gone, okay? That will not be included. <clears throat> we got Force Awakens. I like how the outside and the inside of the packaging looks a little different. Let's see, uh, Last Jedi, Rise of Skywalker, they uh, get the same picture. But Force Awakens is special. Some of you guys are like, David, I got the, the, the steelbook version of the movie and you don't let the Blu-ray normal version. Me, 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 me. I got the steelbook from the Target and with the special booklet that comes with it and the and the lenticular cover with, with, with like five art cars that came with the me, 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 me. That's what I sound like, man. Some of you guys are like, look at me. Hey, David, I got the special edition Blu-ray with a, that comes with the with the steel book case and the uh, autograph cards and me 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 me. That's what it sounds like. Me 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 me. <laughs> Solo Star Wars story. I got it for like ten bucks. There's a DVD. Maybe someday I'll get the Blu-ray, but nah. Oh yeah, they did the same thing with the uh, Rogue One. So the Rogue One has this nice. Outer outer layer, right? The slip cover. But when you turn it, you get, like take it out. Look at that. The picture's all different. See that? The picture's different. They know how to advertise. And it comes with the blue rings, you got the cards and whatever. See, I got the the this version. And the, so if you bought uh, 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 the um, the normal DVD version. I'm like me 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 to you. Hey David, what is your favorite Ruby character? 
Uh, I guess Ruby. I like Yang too. But, uh, geez Louise, it's been a while since I've watched those. Do I have it? Is it in my. Yeah, I, I, I packed them up, man. I don't even have the uh, Ruby DVDs even displayed in my collection anymore. I do have that t shirt. Oh, yeah, I did make a Ruby collection video. That was years ago, man. Holy crap. Hang on. Let me go to uh, YouTube real quick. There is a video on YouTube of my Ruby collection. I don't, I don't think I ever made it public. That's my, uh, my, that's my, uh, my uh, nephew. My house is a mess right now, man. I'm trying to reteach pre-calc because I'm teaching it over the summer. For those of you who don't know, I'm a teacher, high school teacher, and this is my first summer teaching pre-calculus. <clears throat> I can pretty much teach the first three chapters. But beyond that, I'm going to have to do some review. <clears throat> okay. Uh, video manager. There it is. Go. What's going on? It's loading. Oh, you know what? I know what's going on. It's because I'm live streaming right now. I'm live streaming. That's why the internet's so freaking slow. Okay. Ruby. There it is. Oh my gosh. This video is currently private. My nephew's in it too. The Ruby collection video. Never made it never made public, but it's there. Maybe I'll make it public tomorrow or something. My nephew's in it. Let's go. A guest star. Well, I think I guess I went through all the movies. I'm gonna have to clean this up. See, all the boxes are out and all that stuff. Like my new Royal Rumble poster. Got it for like fifteen dollars on eBay, man. A little too much money, but yeah. I have WrestleMania 36 coming in the mail. I bought on on. The, oh, I bought some shirts. The other day I went to uh, Goodwill. Bought a couple shirts here. Let me show it to you. Sup, David? Oh, yeah. Hey, Zeb. How's it going? You missed out, man. I was talking about all my Star Wars VHS, DVDs, Blu-rays. You missed out. Anyway, I got the shirt. Star Wars. What'd you think? That's a nice design, huh? Like this. $1.99, man. $1.99 at Goodwill. It's probably got coronavirus all over it. <laughs> All these used shirts. This one, this one kind of like too. Sith Lords. <laughs> Look at that. The eagle's holding a lightsaber. <laughs> Funny. Darth Plagueis the Wise. Darth Maul. Darth Sidious. Darth Vader. And that's all Darth. They didn't bother to put Dooku in. <laughs> What's the back say? Is there anything in the back? No, there's nothing in the back. What about the other one? Yeah, that's it. I bought some other shirts, but uh, here. I thought I liked this design when I saw it. <laughs> brought a couple of Doctor Who related t-shirts here. This one's all about time travel. Let's do the time warp. See that? I don't know if you guys recognize all that stuff on there. <clears throat> I don't know everything. That's from The Simpsons. I saw that episode. That's from The Time Machine. That's The Time Machine in The Time Machine. Like the book. And they made a movie of it. And they had, they had a movie remake too. That's from Prince of Persia. Remember that live action movie with Jake Gyllenhaal? He was holding that. You know what I'm talking about? You guys have no idea what I'm talking about, huh? You guys have no I, I clicked on the video because this is Star Wars. And this has nothing to do with Star Wars. So you lost interest. I bet you guys know what that is. That's the DeLorean from Back to the Future, right? That's the TARDIS from Doctor Who. 
So I recognize that one anywhere. I'm a huge Doctor Who fan. Oh, the Terminator. You guys see that? Terminator goes back in time to kill John and Sarah and stuff like that. So he's in this little bubble thing, the time travel thing. This, I'm not quite sure what it is. I think it's the time turner from Harry Potter. Okay? The thing that Hermione was wearing in Prisoner of Azkaban, because that was the, uh, she, it was a necklace. This looked like a necklace. But I keep like, like, I haven't like watched back the movie, you know, but I read the book recently, and the book had a different picture than that. Like the, the picture looked different. Where is my book, anyway? Where the heck is it? It's not up here. Look, on my Harry Potter collection, Prison Mask Man's missing. I just realized that. What the heck happened to it? No, seriously, where is it? I have no idea where I put it. Well, anyway, let's go back to this. So that's probably the time turner from, uh, from Harry Potter, right? That, I remember. That's from Austin Powers, man. Dun, 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 dun. Now, I have not seen this movie, Hot Tub Time Machine. But I look at that and I see a hot tub and I'm like, immediately, that got, that's got to be Hot Tub Time Machine, right? That's just my guess. Now, I remember this. This is from Star Trek, okay? If you remember, there was an episode where they went back in time and uh, Dr. McCoy got all crazy or whatever. And then uh, he like saved a woman that's supposed to be dying or whatever from a car accident. You guys remember that episode? What episode was that name? And then anyway, Spock and Kirk went back in time also. And they were like in disguise. And, you know, I think Kirk like fell in love with uh, one of the ladies or something like that or whatever. But he had to let her, let her die or whatever. It was pretty sad. What the heck movie is that? I got the Star Trek stuff over here. There's even, here it is. I got this. Star Trek time travel collection. It's got all the episodes. Which episode was that? Tomorrow's Yesterday, The Sea on the Edge of Forever. It's one of the original series episodes. It's, it's, it's one of those, I bet. You know what? It's probably one of those. <clears throat> okay. What else do we have here? That's from Bill and Ted. What's this? I have no idea what that... that maybe you guys recognize it. Think of all the time travel movies and TV shows that you've watched and tell me what that is. It looks like a scroll with a map on it with a bunch of planets or something on it. At first, I was thinking it's the map from... Uh, what, what's that? The Pirates? Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Because they had, I remember in the movie, they had a map and it was like spinning the, uh, the pieces around. But it doesn't look like that for me. I don't remember time traveling in that. You know what I'm saying? Dora the Explorer. Really? That's from Dora the Explorer? Okay. Well, I, I, I don't remember. Uh, I never watched it. Okay. But uh, thank you. You know what? I'm going to search it up real quick. I need some confirmation. Where's Google? I'm messing around. What should we look up? Synthetic division, cubic functions. Yeah, you know what? I was like researching this pre-calc stuff. All right. Uh, map. Circles. Uh, show, movie, time travel. Looper? No, it can't be Looper. He's a Sith Lord as Joker. I'm not seeing it, guys. It looked like a map. Map, movie, time travel. Let's put those words together. Try to get some answers here. Nope. Wait! That looks like it. What is this? The Time Portal Map used in the 1981 Terry Gilliam movie, Time Bandits. Hey, let me get the shirt again. Dude, that 
That's it. Look, the two circles here, there's the two circles right there. They probably just uh, like, like spinning around and stuff. There's that big circle right there. That's that big circle right there. Look, see, we got the little circle inside a big circle. That's gotta be it. Dude, we found it. See how amazing the internet is these days? Yeah, it looks just like it. There. You guys don't believe me, huh? Thumbs down in the video for nothing. Did Terry Gillian make Monty Python? I don't know. This is new, new, th new thing to me. Monty Python. What's your favorite part in Monster University? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't remember that movie much. This is a fun live stream. Terry Gillian. There he is, film director, screenwriter. He died. He died? No, he's not dead. Look, it says he's still alive. The man is 79 years old right now. Won a BAFTA award and everything. Monty Python. Yeah, it says so right there. Time Bandits. There it is. There's the movie we're talking about. I don't even know what this is. Looks kind of interesting. Kind of want to check it out, man. I want to check this out. Back to Napoleon Wars and Greece and went to the, uh, the Titanic. Look at that. I want to see this movie now. Go to eBay. How much is this movie? Maybe it's on uh, Voodoo also. He made Time Weasel. I love Monty Python Flying Circus. Yeah. Oh, look. The Cactus book that I bought. Hey, <laughs> 15 bucks for this thing. Hopefully, it, I get my money back. All right, look at all the things I've been searching up. Ray Mysterio for sure. Oh, I gotta show you this. Look at my new Ray Mysterio mask. Here, look, let me show you what I'm talking about. Go back to Google. Ray Mysterio. That's him. Zoom in. I want a bigger picture of him somehow. Look. A good long look, guys. Take a good long look. And now, look at me. I don't like the pink, though. I wish it was like a different color. But hey, I can wear this to the next uh, WWE event of some sort. Something with, uh, with Lucha, you know? Hey, David, Lego Ninjago video game is free on Xbox One and you don't need Xbox Live Gold to play it. Okay, good to know. You look like his twin. Your run is majestic, David. Chrono Trigger and Mugger Solid 3. I never played Chrono Trigger before. Okay, I was searching something on eBay. Oh, Time Bandits. Here we go, hang on. Time Bandit. Here, DVDs and Blu rays. How much is it? Buy it now. Five bucks with four, five dollars shipping. Condition use. Lowest price first. Sean Connery's in it? Region 2 DVDs? No, I need Region 1 DVD. They have VHS of it, too. Looks like I can get it for like 10 bucks. Okay. Well, 10 bucks is a little more than I want for a movie that I have no idea if I'm gonna like it or not, you know? Okay, everyone, I think we've been live streaming enough. It's been like almost an hour. I originally wanted this video to be like 20 minutes.
I gotta clean all this stuff up before I lay my bed and sleep in it, man. Remember watching your Sleeping Dogs live stream? What do you think of the game? I like Sleeping Dogs just fine, I guess. I I, I don't like much of the uh, the the like the racing and stuff like that. It's got oh, you gotta be number one to race. Remember Grand Theft Auto Three? Where is that game? Grand Theft Auto Three. I never finished it, right? You know why I never finished it? Here's a stupid mission where you have to get first place in the race. And I try to look it up and stuff like that too. There's no way around it. You have to legitimately beat that race. And there's no like shortcuts and whatever. You know what I'm saying? And it's like all the cars are crashing into each other. And it's like every single time the race starts, there's like no, no pattern to it. It's all random. There's no like, unless you like got, you know, very quick reflexes and all that stuff. It's impossible, man. Unfreaking believable. It has been 50 minutes. Yeah, you know what, guys? I gotta go. Tomorrow's Saturday. I'm gonna spend most of the day. Most of you guys probably like, David, live stream something, play a video game. Nah, I gotta get this, got my lesson plans made, man. Because I'm teaching on Monday. I got, well, I'm, I'm, I'm okay for at least the first week or so. But uh, I gotta get everything done. I'm the type of guy, the type of teacher who's like, everything's planned out. They make the way, like, um, we're having this test. I'm, we're having this test this Monday, this time. <laughs> Don't go, please. But well, what do you want me to do? There's nothing going on. Oh, wait, I got something for you. I bought something. I saw this. For $3.99, and I just had to get it. Hey, David, you're playing game tonight. We can play this game. It's called Road to WrestleMania Board Game. Fast-paced, action-packed. I don't know how action-packed it can get, but here it is. It's got a, it's got a Kurt Angle, Ultimate Warrior. It's got Undertaker. You got a Stone Cold Steve Austin, Bret Hart. Who's down here? We got Jake the Snake, Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Who's up here? Ultimate Warrior again. Red Heart again. What this side? Look, Macho Man. Oh yeah. We got Mankind, uh, Mick Foley, all A.K. Cactus Jack, A.K.A. Dude Love, A.K.A. You know. This side we got Ric Flair and Stone Cold. Okay. On the back we got Roddy, Roddy Roddy Piper. The WWE Road to WrestleMania game takes his players on a wild ride. Are we going to watch the boss of Melissa McCarthy? No. You should live stream GTA 4. You should live stream GTA 4, says Julie. All right. Well, I'm just going to go to bed. See you soon, says Liam. All right. Talk guys later. Thank you for stopping by. Be sure to spread the word. And then we'll get to, uh, we'll get to a million subscribers. I'll uh, probably be too old to make any more YouTube videos. <laughs> like YouTube's going to be like bought out by something else or something. Uh, we'll see. All right. That is it for today. Thank you for watching. We got up to like 40 viewers today, too. That's insane, man. Absolute insanity. All right, everyone saying bye. Julie, Carolina, Liam. Bye, everyone. Good night. See you later, David. It's Steve Durbin. And that's how we're going to.